understand something and I'm gonna share that with you right here with the million dollar view I was supposed to do some free line but uh, there is snow there so I cannot but that's okay because what I gotta share with you is much more important you know when when I accomplish something that it was hard for me to get there you know uh, uh, because what I understand is that uh, the new me it's fighting the old me okay but my new me since I feed my new me of whatever it needed a little bit more every single day health fitness doing what I love knowledge when I feed my spirit of what it needs to grow and to achieve a little bit more my mission, purpose, a little bit more every single day, not just for me, but for humanity. When I do this, uh, the old me dissolves. It becomes less strong each time that I accomplish something, but it still has a little resistance because it's only my third year of becoming my greatest version. So it's a long process. And remember one thing if it's not hard, it means that you're not doing the right thing for your life. If it's easy, life is not supposed to be easy. Life is supposed to be, you do what you love and you go through stuff to get exactly what you want and where you want. And you don't know what is gonna be in your way, but you know you got all the will and all the courage and all the patience and all the everything what you truly need to get through it. It's like when I stopped smoking cigarette. You know, for 15 years, um, maybe less than 15 years, yeah. Anyway, I smoke and most of the time I was not wanting to stop, you know, I was only killing myself a little bit more every single day but one day I say okay that's enough and you know what motivate me to stop is that when I become sick I was not wanting to smoke and it was pretty easy for me to not smoke when I was sick but one day I say hey why I need to hurt to stop one day I stay I say I don't gonna hurt to stop I only gonna stop because I want to stop and it work of course it work with a transition I vap and uh, for six months and I say to myself I vap I don't gonna become addict I say to myself I program myself at the beginning that it's only a transition and it work exactly like I plan so when you plan it right, you know, you don't know what's gonna be, uh, what it's gonna be between A to Z. But you know that at the end, you're gonna stop. Or it's gonna work. Of course, you're gonna be successful. You're gonna be the one on top. So, so I create an amazing video called The Last six months uh, best performance of freeline 2016 and we are the 25 january right now so i'm late i'm late but that's okay because i've been through so much and 
I did what I have to do. I'm really proud of the result. And I pushed through, you know? I pushed through. And the revelation I have is that how I feel now since this is done this morning. Immediately, when I finish the video, I try to finish a song. And it doesn't work. I, you know, when you resist, eh? when you don't let go, I try to fix the voice, fix the voice, fix the voice, and it doesn't work. Suddenly, I have an energy rush inside of my body. Like, I don't know what to do with, what I, with all the energy that I have. Like, even if I train or whatever, if I do everything, it doesn't work. I need to go out. Why? Because life wants you to move, don't want you to stay in bad habits, bad paradigm. It wants you to explore, to, to grow. It's not because you accomplish one thing that you, you need to stay there. You get all the time in the world. So that's the lesson, you know? So, uh, if, you, if it happened to you, Huh? You accomplish something and you're so proud, but you stay in like in a, a in the paradigm of the same, and suddenly you have a rush, and you think you lose your power. It's not losing. You cannot lose anything. You can only gain. You lose if you have the intention of losing, but if you have no intention to losing. You don't lose. You are gaining energy. So, it's all a mindset and you need to reprogram yourself. That's what I truly understand. So, when you think it's bad, when you think that you're losing your power and you're stuck, no, you just need to move. Peace. I'm not a fan of heights, so when the windows up there are dirty, it's not a priority for me to go climb a ladder and do Spider-Man and go clean them. First of all, I'm supposed to clean everything down here, not up there. But if I don't do it, they're gonna stay dirty. So I grab my letter and I start there, 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 and my bottle fall down. All, all the water for clean the window on the floor. I say, okay, I have one chance on two that it's gonna happen. So, it happened, that's okay, now I need to find another bottle. So, I find another bottle, I find some Windex, and it worked. So, I clean that window, and I say, okay, these are all done. I did it. And I, I like the result, it's shining, it's beautiful. So I go upstairs, I go clean, and I come back, I grab the letter, and I put it there, and I go back up, I clean, and I get one desk left to clean upstairs, and I say, hi, oh, I'm gonna, I gonna go clean these four windows, and I did it, easy. And it doesn't take time. So uh, I go finish my desk upstairs and now I speak to you. So the illusion, the illusion is that it's not my responsibility. Uh, it's up there. It's dangerous. This is the illusion. This is all a part of the illusion. Huh? Uh, Somebody else gonna do it, but in reality, in reality, nobody gonna do it if you don't do it yourself. So, and 
when you climb the ladder, if you put it properly, eh, consciously you place the ladder and you do everything conscious, trusting the process, not afraid. Like I was not afraid at all. But why I don't clean it before? It's, be it's because the illusion told me don't do it. Not now. Wait the right moment. All these kinds of things. And this is the illusion. So I say that to you for you to realize that if you want to grow, you're going to need to do these kinds of stuff. That you think that it's somebody else should do it. But look at your function. Look what you do in life. And ask yourself, is it somebody else or me? Who is important in your story? You or others? If it's you, maybe you should face the illusion and do it. And you will see that it was not that bad. And how do I feel? Awesome. I am so happy that I did it. I feel like I grew. And definitely that's the reality because when you do something that have a, a strong resistance for you to do, you grow and you grow. And now you know. So that's what we deal with the energy on the planet right now. We need to face the illusion of scarcity, the illusion that it's not to us to do it or it's gonna take care of itself or is not a big of a deal we we need to we need to take charge you know don't wait that a savior gonna come to fix things you gonna fix it and when the illusion say it's not the time, you should try it, for real. You should say, fuck it, I gonna do it. And remember, even if you, you fail, you try. You have a point, you have a point. Because you try, you grab your courage, you grab your willpower and you try. And it's if it's if it, if you fail, it's because it was not meant for you. So now you know. At least you know. What is the point of not knowing? If you don't try, you don't know. I know you say yeah, but the, the illusion, the resistance is so strong. It's all, all the demons is after me and I cannot move and I cannot do... The, I'm stuck. Okay. But you need to... You need to face it eventually. Just do it. Just do it. This is a clear, this is a clear sign that you're going to be inspired. Trust the universe. Trust your destiny. Trust your mission. Trust why you are here on planet Earth. If you get good attention, if your heart is into it, you have nothing to worry about. Trust, 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 trust. And see beyond the illusion. Move past the illusion.
get the hang of it. More you're going to do it, more you're going to see clearly. Don't doubt about it. Don't doubt what I just say. Try it. Do it. Face your illusion. I don't care who you are, spiritual or not. We all need to deal with this. So, it's time for me to hit the road safely and comment down below and let me know which kind of illusion you face. I'm curious to know. For real, for real. And this is only an example because I need to face so many illusions in a day. And I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't have these demons after me. And I take care of my health. I eat bio. I am a vegan. So, probably... And I know because I was like this before. I was smoking, I was drinking, and I was not eating healthy. That the resistance was even stronger when I was smoking cigarettes, taking drugs, and taking alcohol. I was, I was a part of the illusion. So don't try to understand when you take this. Don't try to understand the reality because you are in the illusion and what controls you is the addiction that you take. The drugs control you, the alcohol control you, even if you don't take one day. You're gonna need to get past that. You're gonna need to get pure. You're gonna need to cleanse your body for quite a while depends of everybody okay how long it take to don't have these demons this this that cause that you stay in illusion So that's what happened with me. I get enough. One day I have a, a moment of conscience. And I don't want to be stuck anymore. I want to do what I love. Because I was not doing what I love. I was doing what the illusion. I, I was following the illusion. I was not following my purpose. I was following the illusion. I was in the illusion. But what's the point of live a life of lie? What is the... How, how can you be proud of a life of, of illusion, of lie? And there is so many... Oh my God. Like probably everybody who's watching this video, you live a lie. And I live a life all my life too. It's like brand new. I start in 2014 to wake up truly and make it a daily effort to get out of the illusion. 2014, we are in 2017. And I grow so much and I'm so grateful and I am able to say this to you. Like, if you want to see beyond the illusion, you're going to need to get rid, you're going to need to push away cigarette, drugs, and alcohol, and starting to eat healthy, go back to nature. It's something cool. You should be excited. This is something that can move you. It's cool. Eat LT. It doesn't cost more. Is is worth 
the money that you invest, it's an investment. Not like you when you put your money in McDonald's or Burger King and other restaurant that is fast food. This is not an investment. This is like killing you a little bit every day. It's not an investment. Or if you see it like an investment to dig your hole before it happens. Anyway, you get the point. So, stop digging your hole and start building a strong foundation for you to be able to live a life that you truly desire. That's what I want to say to you. And there is a new moon coming up, the 27th January. So, two days, and I already feel it today. Oh my God. If I say that to you, it's because it's important for you to know that you need to face the illusion. You need to keep positivity because the illusion is always bad. Or it seems good, but in reality it's bad. Or it's fake. It's maybe not bad, but it's fake. It's not real. Like fake smile. So, peace, be real.